Photographs of war remind us of trying times as well as triumphant courage, the courage of the men behind the rifles, but also the men behind the cameras. Reporter Marcus Jones spoke with one of those men behind the camera today, Cambridge native Henry McMahon. See, I, the thing about a photographer, people look and don't see. A photographer has to see a face, a glimpse, a fleeting expression, and your finger better be on the trigger, boom, at the right second or you blow it. You'll get 61 year old Henry McMahon is a veteran photographer and a veteran and of war of as well. Pitches. In 1943, he enlisted in the Marine Corps and photographed World War II aerial combat maneuvers in the South Pacific. In the 50s, he followed American troops into the Korean conflict. There were times when you wondered if you were going to see the next 10 minutes. Uh, your job was to get photographs, so you were naturally concerned with that. And then every once in a while, something would happen that would make you wonder if you were going to get your next meal. There's a shot over in the, uh, the rack there of our first night mission. If you look at the faces of the men, you can see the apprehension, the fear, the determination, the fear, and everybody in that ship was as concerned with what was outside that door as I was. Now, I photographed them. Nobody photographed me, but I can look at their faces and I can read every emotion in their face that had to be in mine. We all felt the same thing. I feel that a photographer is an observer. He kind of watches the human condition and he can watch it from the periphery or from right in the middle. And he still has that little bit of objectivity. And he recognizes in others his own frailties. If you look at this shot back here of the wounded man being loaded in the chopper, Look at the face of his buddy. There's concern. And, and you can pick up the emotion right there. And the crew chief, who had never seen this Marine before, was just as concerned. Now, it's a little hard to see his face, but you can see the way they're handling that man. Here's one of their comrades that's in serious trouble. And they're both concerned. They're both doing what they have to do to give this guy a shot at survival. More than 90 of McMahon's photographs are on display through Thanksgiving weekend in the gallery at Creative Framing in Brookline. Unfortunately, this is only a minute sampling of McMahon's wartime work. He says as much as 80% of his photos in storage at the National Archives were destroyed by flooding a few years ago. Final thought for Veterans Day, what does this exhibit tell us? Um, you know, what does it say about war? What does it say about us? Well, almost anybody that's been there can't have too much good to say about war. It's not a very pleasant experience. The one good thing that comes out of it is that some people do show the humanity, some people do rise above the occasion, and that those that have been there, most of them don't want to see their kids go back into a situation like it. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.